Hello everybody and welcome back. It's me, Quark, and today we are talking about the community center. And uh, it's basically something that you get into, I believe, after the 10th day of starting the game. And this is about where the main story of the game uh, is evolved around. Revolves around? Revolves around. So what it is, there's these little Junimos that uh, have these, which we can't read these yet. Basically what we do is we come in, we do the whole thing with the mayor, and then we check these out. And after we do that, the next day, we will receive a letter from Osmodus. Osmodus? Rasmodus? Something like that. And he's the, uh, the wizard off to the left of the, uh, the pond area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and skip to the next day so we can get that going. There it is. So it says, my sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? Chambers of the West of the Forest Lake. Blah, blah. Yada, yada. So, like I said, the big lake off to the left of it is right here, which I don't believe it's time. Oh, no, we can go in any time. That surprises me. Oops. So, ah, come in, come in. Yada, yada. I am Ra Rasmodus, Rasmodus, seeker of the arcane truths. Meditary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred, you get the point. And you, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. I, I like how like they allude to this being like, yeah, like it was destined for you to be here and you're gonna make great things happen in this world like it's an amazing RPG in all reality it's just a just a life sim they call themselves the Junomos they're adorable little things aren't they mysterious spirits these ones for some reason they refuse to speak with me Not sure why they have moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. The thingy. Oh, back when I first started playing, that wasn't a thingy. I think that was just like an exclamation point. Found a golden scroll written in a language. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself, and I'll return shortly. That'd be an awesome power to have. Just near gone. Found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. It's pretty fast. We the Junimo, happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you can then you will see the true nature of the scroll. And he just so happened to be brewing something here that would help us. Oh, he must have put something else other than just baby fern in there. Wee's a trippin'. There's some, uh, some toadstools in there. Forest magic. We can now decipher the meaning of the scrolls. All right, so let's head back to the community center. Now back in here, we can go back into this room, look at this thing, and we have different bundles we need to complete. So this one rewards us bridge repair, which is the bridge that leads to 
uh, the quarry. So let's see what we need. So all these are just stuff that you find throughout the year from foraging, I believe. And these obviously you get from cutting down trees and crap. Foraging. Uh, exotic. I believe these come from different areas. So like these you'll get from trees once you get the, uh, the tappers. These you can get from mines or from your uh, little cave beside your house if you have asked for mushrooms instead of bats. Same as this one. This one you can dig up from the little uh, artifact spots so or the little dancing worms on the ground. Or you can dig them up in the mines with your hoe. And then these two, I believe, come from... Or at least this one. I know it comes from the desert. I think this one comes from the desert too. I'm not too sure. So we don't have anything of that, so... And these are other foraging stuff. So let's gather some stuff real quick. I think I have some stuff in chests and whatnot. Alrighty. So I'm not 100% sure if we got everything that we need, but we got stone, hardwood, and regular wood. That'll complete this first bundle. And then the Juno will grab some stuff, say thank you, and he'll run off with it. And then, do we got the fall one yet? I think I, I think I forgot some stuff. Do we got that. Uh, almost. We almost got it all. We're missing one common mushroom. I know I have one of those. I just need to go get it. This is why I need sweet pea. This is why you always just collect at least one of everything because you never know whenever you're gonna need it. Sometimes you'll need it from a. Uh, Requests or whatnot. We need that one. So it just never hurts to get one of everything. There's another one complete. An exotic. Do we have enough for exotic? Okay. Yeah. So you don't need you don't need everything. You just need enough to fill up that little area. But that's about it for this one. Let's get let's go get a sweet pea, a crocus, corcus, and a calm mushroom. Oh yeah, so uh, they'll start unlocking other ones. So there's one. There's the fish tank, I believe. There's the kitchen, the boiler room. So the kitchen, come on. Wait. Why did you go back to that one? It's broken. Nope, there it goes. Boiler room. And then the office. Okay. I think it's broken. Okay, bulletin board. Okay, it did it. That was weird. Anyways, let's go get those ones real quick. And for the last three, got this one. Uh, that one. Yes. And... This one. And that will unlock this room. Everybody will be all happy. And whenever you complete these bundles, so what it says underneath, like that one says bridge, that one will, uh, complete that, like, overnight it will complete that bridge. So there you go. Area's fully done up. Now we just need to go complete all the other ones. Which you complete in different ways. Where are you going? Where are you going? He's broken. I broke him. Anyways. So like these ones, you different fruits and uh, different vegetables that you harvest, artisan stuff that you get from animals, uh, quality fruits, whatnot. Then this one's different fishes, I believe. Let's see, yeah, it's different fishes caught caught from different areas, different uh stuff that you can do so like uh farming 
about chef stuff, all that jazz, different professional kind of stuff. This one I believe is all money. Yeah, this one's all money. Money, money, money. And then this one is uh, all the stuff that you can, ooh, flashy. So blacksmith, blacksmith stuff, geologist stuff you get from the mines, and stuff you get from the mines from killing stuff. So let's go ahead and get all these completed up real quick. And then once you complete it all up, and get everything done ready to go, you have a nice little cutscene in the end. This is basically spoiler in-game stuff, so if at this point you don't want to see anything else, just go ahead and stop and go about your life and enjoy the game as much as possible. Not sure how you did it, but the community center has never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is pleased. Smiley face. As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with this. Uh, town's greatest honor. The Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. Well, thank you, Mayor. I don't think I did, but thank you. Grumble, grumble. Grum, 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 grum. So, the other option that you had was Morris. You, you had an option to let Jojo Mart buy this out and turn it into a storage facility, which then you just complete all these with money and it's a lot faster. But this is a lot better for story. So, sales have been plummeting. Where are all my customers gone? That's kind of the voice I have in mind for him. Wow. <laughs> All my customers. Here? Look at that weird face. This isn't good. Well, let's be reasonable. It's of no consequence. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back. Begging for forgiveness. You'll see. No, not this time. I remember when I first moved to Pelican Town. This building was active and vibrant. We worked together to make this town a better place. There was a real sense of community. George, you're always- oh gosh. He's gonna give everyone a story, isn't he? George, you're always used to do crossword puzzles while sipping coffee in the community center, remember? <laughs> Emily, you wove that custom banner for the Stardew Valley Fair. I remember you working on that for years. Willie, you don't do much. <laughs> remember every little crab experiment we got out of hand? <laughs> That's what I do. We show up one morning, and Blaze was crawling with him. But Gus saved the day with a brilliant idea. A crab leg feast for the entire valley. Still dreaming of that garlic butter. You see, everyone in our community is what makes Pelican Town special. Is it Pelican Town? That's so weird. I always like calling it Stardew Valley. When Jojo Mart came, we lost sight of that. But now, thanks to me, we have a second chance. Asking you to join me in boycotting Jojo Mart, we have the power to reclaim our old way of life. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Lived here too long, she is trying to go around. As you guys can probably tell, I'm not very good at doing voices, so... Yeah... Yeah, I believe the other option, he actually just straight up cold clocks him. 
Pretty fascinating. Morris and Jojo Mart cronies are never heard from again. And then after this, the uh, the Jojo Mart is basically dilapidated and, and ran down looking. See, right there? Terminated. And I believe if you actually go in there, they, they added something new with the newest update. You can go in there and there, there'll be a another bundle you can complete. But I'll let you guys do that one on your own. So, if you liked the video, if it helped you out in any way possible, highly doubt it. But if it did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.